I have one of these skylight frames. Uh, it, oh, it, yeah. I yeah. love that thing, right? And I, yeah. the one that we have, I've had forever. And, uh, and it's just awesome because we can send pictures to and from it. Well, I guess not so much from, from but <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can, you can download pictures from it, but, okay. it, but it's meant to send pictures to it. We have them, uh, each of the three homes of our family have them, uh, you know, we've got one here in our house and then each of our kids has one in, in their homes and we get to send each other pictures. And it's really cool to just walk into the kitchen and see new pictures on the wall from, you know, Skylar over in, in, uh, in Italy or, you know, Lucas from wherever, you know, he's on the other side of the state, but you know, wherever it's just a nice thing. We do it for each other. Um, I noticed that I had broken it and in, by broken it, I mean that it was complaining about not being able to connect to Wi-Fi. And it was like, all right. So I go through the thing, I type in the password and I can, I get the notification from whatever wife, you know, this time the Synology app saying, oh yeah, a new device is joined. But it doesn't, the device doesn't think it's joined. It doesn't say that it can't join, but it also doesn't say that it has successfully joined. It's in this like limbo. One of my Eero networks, the one in the house had WPA3 enabled, just like my Synology network does. The Eero network in the office does not have it enabled. And I don't know why that is, but maybe I never went into Eero labs and turned it on for that one, right? Okay. Never thought to. And it was like, aha, wait a minute. And I turned off WPA3 and instantly the frame can like without needing to do Whoa. anything else. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the frame connected started slurping down, you know, 25 pictures that were in the cloud queue to get to it because it finally was able to connect to Wi-Fi and everything was fine. I'm like, OK, I see. So then I went in to the Synology network, turned off WPA3 there and just set it to WPA2 personal. Um and and then it was able to connect to that. No issue whatsoever. I sent Lucas a text. I'm like, I know what your problem is with your skylight frame, man. And but what really became interesting was as I did that, I saw like five or six other notifications that devices had joined the Synology network, a, a smart bulb that I had, a smart outlet that I had, things like that, that had been also acting a little bit janky. Just boom came right online no problem so what i learned is that wpa3 is not meant for us to be using right now if we especially if we have any older smart home devices and by yeah, older IoT, internet it's yeah, yeah by internet older, of things. six months <laughs> yeah I, I mean six months like some of these aren't that old like i i definitely the one of the smart bulbs is a ge sync bulb and that i i know that i you know got and it was a brand new product within the last year. So, and, and to be fair, you know, Eero has one switch for WPA3 and it's not entirely clear what it does. Um, the Synology network is a little more, uh, has a little more granular in what you can choose. It, it, in the Synology network, I had it set to WPA2 slash WPA3 personal. It turns out that is what the Eero setting does. So it doesn't, exclude wpa2 stuff but it it in theory allows both to connect the the re actual reality is that some devices even when the the access points are in wpa2 slash wpa3 mode they still don't connect because the wpa3 thing sort of gets in the way and they get stuck in this limbo that i described so uh i it is now my blanket advice to not enable WPA3 on any of your access points, especially at home, unless you know that all of your devices, current and future, are going to work with WPA3. And that's that's a that's a tough sell today. Oh, there you go.